Hey everyone, so I've just posted my complete guide to the Crossfire system and I really do hope you found that useful. If you haven't seen that already, um, I'll link to that here or and in the description below, so do check that out. But this video is meant to be an appendix to that video and will just be uh, about uh, installing the inverter mod on your QX7, X10S Horus or X12. Now I only have the, the QX7 radio, but the procedure is pretty much the same for, uh, for all of these radios, except that uh, you're gonna have to refer to a different board layout, which I'll link to the description below. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Here's my QX7 radio and I've already opened it up at the back and we also need to get, get access to this uh, to the other side of this main board so we are going to have to remove all of these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 screws and we will be just doing that in a little moment and screws are gone so let's just take a look at the other side of this board carefully oh, you don't want to break anything so Alright, it took a little bit of wiggling but uh, because of the, the scroll wheel, but um, eventually I was able to wiggle it out. Let me just show you the front first. So I've got all of, all of my um, buttons and the knob removed. It's only going to go back one way anyway, so um, after, after, after the mod, you can just uh, push the, that in after you've screwed on your board. So again, you really want to be careful about just, just this single um, ribbon cable, ribbon connector. You don't want to damage that. And um, in my case, um, I can just, you know, very, very carefully just open this up, and you'll see that the Q400 transistor is right over there, right at the bottom. It's very small if you can compare it to my fingernail. It is tiny, so um, we only need to solder onto one of those pads, and we need a wire that will go on. From there, all the way up back here, and we'll have our mod chip. Uh, we'll, we'll tape it over here, probably. So, so one thing I w you want to make sure is that you have, you know, the length of wire that you're using. Just don't, just don't scrimp on the wire. I'll probably use something like this. This, uh, this length of wire probably is, uh, you know, overkill. But again, more is better, especially since you don't want to. Um, open this up again if you if if your wire is too short and you don't want to solder it on again so I have now my uh, my pieces of wire it's, uh, it's probably just the right length I believe yeah and it has a little bit of uh, excess so you want to have that all prepared I'm just heating up my iron now if you are not at all confident about your soldering skills or your you know uh, these are very very tiny parts so if you're not at all confident you might be able to bring this to Green Hills and have one of those, uh, you know, those uh, cell phone repair guys do this for you. You could just uh, tell them the instructions, tell them what to solder to, and, and uh, they can do it. They have very, very good skills, so they might be able to do this for you. Am I confident about what I'm going to be about to do? Not, not really, but you know, this is all for your entertainment. So now we've removed our tra the transistor from Q the Q400 transistor. By the way, this is a 2 millimeter hex driver, so that gives you a pretty, pretty good idea of how small this thing is. So yeah, you just need to get rid of that uh, transistor over there. And now we just need to wire, uh, solder up a wire here on this uh, on on the the pad that uh, is by itself. And this this isn't actually a very complicated mod. It's just very very tiny, so it's just a, this, that makes it a bit uh, harder to do. But uh, yeah, so. Once we once we once we um, solder a wire here, we are done with the hard part, and we'll be flipping this board back up and uh, soldering this up from the other side. So first, let me just pre in just a little bit. So that is a very small pad. Just want a little bit extra solder on there, helping ease my wire into it. Alright, so 
once that's in place just touch it quickly and is it in good let's do that another another time one more time just touch it quickly and yep that's it so here's the chip the inverter chip that uh, comes with uh, the crossfire micro module so i already put in a double-sided sticky tape onto the back and you can just remove that 3m backing okay and then i'm just going to put this on top of that integrated circuit or ic so now we have a good platform for sticking our stuff to now still going to get this out of the way first this is the wire that that comes uh that came that come that is soldered onto where the q400 transistor was i'm just going to pre-solder these pads very very quickly All right okay at this point i'd just like to point out that i had flipped the inverter pcb upside down so that the little ic chip it has is facing up that means that the order of the pads is also flipped so instead of ground being at the top like in the diagram ground is actually the bottom most pad this caused my QX7 to get stuck in a waiting for crossfire devices screen when I tried to use the crossfire Lua scripts and eventually I had to rewire the whole thing so if you're following along in this video either mount your inverter PCB with the IC chip facing down or flip the order of the wires so this uh, Q4 the Q400 transistor goes on to the out pad of this thing okay that's good we need to put a little bit just a little bit of solder here just to make the wire stick and just quickly solder the wire there this way we want uh, our three our, our 3.3 volt wire to be soldered to so I'm just gonna stick that quickly and finally I need to rotate this a little bit for my sake okay and ground goes over here so make sure your wires are pre-tinned for this makes it a lot easier So this is for the QX7, but if you have another radio like the Horus X10 or X12, then I'll be putting a link uh, in the description on what you need to do, where you're gonna find the particular transistor that you need to replace. So uh, do check that out. That's on Philip Sudell's website. All right, so that looks lo like a very neat, uh, neat work, don't you think? Alright, so now that we have uh, all of the wires soldered up, we're just going to put in back all of these screws and we'll take this out to the field. Before anything else, we need to open up OpenTX Companion and go to the settings menu and click on settings. And here we need to install Lua scripts by checking on the, the clicking on Lua as well as Lua C, which is compile Lua scripts. And I'm pretty surprised this isn't mentioned in the, in the Crossfire manual because this will save you a lot of headaches. Uh, Lua C basically allows you to run your scripts uh, with less RAM and more reliability, but yeah, running better. So you don't have to worry about this in OpenTX 2.3.1 and later because it's going to be installed by default. So we need to click on the download button up here somewhere. Uh, not that one here. Okay, we need to click on the downloads button and the file name is going to be depending on what settings you chose in the previous uh, window. So we need to click on the download firmware button which is going to prompt you where you want to save the, the file, the firmware that you want. And then uh, I've already installed this before um, so I'm just going to click on save and overwrite that old, uh, that old file. So it's going to take uh, just a very quick download and then it'll offer you to install it on your transmitter. Uh, these are the default settings so you can just uh, go ahead and click on write TX. And I don't have my TX uh, connected, but this is how you go about doing it. So there you have it. I hope this video has been very useful to you. And uh, if you haven't, I really do hope you can check out my complete guide to the Crossfire system as well. Um, I really did put a lot of time into both of these videos, so I really appreciate it if you could 
make sure you click on that like, uh, make sure you're subscribed, maybe share these, these two videos to your friends. So anyway, as always, keep building, keep flying, and stay home during this COVID-19 pandemic.